We go to San Francisco where Chris is on the line. Chris, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, good morning. How are you, Chris? I'm doing well yourself. I cannot complain because I'm living the dream. So how can I help you? I'm currently working in a CPA firm, working towards CPA. Mm -hmm. Um, CPA is something that I could see myself doing Mm -hmm. long-term, but the dream career is in public safety. So the question to you is, should I focus on advancing my career in the CPA firm as I work towards the true dream career, um, or should I focus all my attention towards that career in public safety? Well, it's an interesting question because I, I, the, the way you worded it gave me pause because halfway through the way you said that, do I continue to advance in the CPA firm um, while I'm pursuing the dream job of public safety or do I put most of my attention on pursuing the dream? And I'm going, well, you got to have the job. You got to have the day job while you try to get the dream job. Am I right? Correct. Well, then, so the answer is you certainly do a great job in that CPA firm because it's something you're good at and and you enjoy it. And I would just keep moving up, mean being diligent. Just do a good job in that CPA firm. And if they keep promoting you while you are doing what it's necessary to do to be qualified to move into the public safety job, then great. Because all that means is more money and helps you fund the dream. Yes or no? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So it's kind of a both situation. How long do you anticipate uh, it taking for you to be qualified to be able to move into public safety? Uh, I've been pushing applications for about four years now. Um, it can take any 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 amount of time. I'm qualified. Oh, well, now, oh, so you're already qualified? Correct. Well, that was the question I asked. So you're already qualified. You're just at any moment you could get a phone call and get an interview. Yes or no? Correct. Oh well, then yeah, man. I mean, aren't you anticipating that happening soon? Are you working your relationships, or are you just sending resumes cold? Uh, it's it's government, so it's a, a lot of just sending resumes, but it is kind of, uh, it's just sending resumes. Well, that's not going to, but Chris, that's not going to work. Right. There's a reason why that you've been doing this for four years with no results, because nobody knows who you are. You're just a piece of paper. So do you know resumes are worthless without a relationship? Of course. I've read the book already. Okay. So why aren't you doing what I teach in the book, The Proximity Principle? That's what you need to be doing right now, working relationships. Because if you want to be in public safety, specifically, what area do you want to do? Law enforcement. Great. So why aren't you hanging out with policemen and sheriff's deputies and, and uh, I don't know, regional FBI agents? I don't care who. Somebody who's in law enforcement, you got to be hanging out with these guys and gals and saying, hey, who do you know at this municipality and who do you know over here and who do you know over here and you can, it's like drawing a circle around an old map you know like nobody looks at maps anymore it's all on our phones but it's like okay where, you know let's draw a radius and go well what are all the counties what are all the cities that have law enforcement are there government agencies you know, federal government agencies you've got to start going hey uh, i need to get in proximity you've read the book i've told you exactly what to do why aren't you doing it right Just haven't executed yet all right my man so here's the good news you're going to do this And you're in a great role right now. You understand what I'm saying? So here's the great news. You're already qualified. You've just you've just not been using the right strategy. And now you know how to execute. So go execute. I plan to hear from you very soon. When you step into that dream role, I want to hear a dream scream out of you. And so you can tell people how proximity changed your game. You understand? Understand. All right, you have what it takes, Chris. Press on. I love that.